Hi guys, I wanted to do a quick video and uh, show you guys a little bit more of the connections here on the Draconic Dice Crypt. So let's go ahead and do it. So I've already shown you some of the other videos. Um, the magnets, the slots that, that we have for the rare earth magnets, but uh, just kind of want to give you um, more of a, a feel for what that's like. So the way that it works is any lid will go in sideways and then turn to really lock in. So even if you don't have the magnets, it's not coming out. This thing is like locked in there, very solid. Um, but the magnets do give it a nice click into place. I really, I really love that. That's like one of my favorite parts. So, um, so there's that. And then inside the Draconic Dice Grip, the next piece is this interchangeable part. So um, it's the, the top insert. So this is actually the version that I have that's a stretch goal um, that just got unlocked uh, a couple days ago. So this one is now available. And it's exactly like the standard insert, except it has this nice little skull. Um, that's used as a handle. So you can quickly pull it out uh, and you can see it's the half size. So all of the inserts have these ridges uh, on the edge that are perfectly sized to put them right into the, the top of the, the dice grip. Um, and the way that it's designed is so that it sits in there and these things basically float there underneath the, the lid. So the nice thing is, if you're using a half insert, then you have you have like this much space below the insert where you can have other stuff. So say you have a full set of dice in there, you might have that full set of dice and then have your insert in there as well. So, so the way that it works is you can actually have another set of dice in there into here. So. I've got a ton of dice in this bag. So you can actually fill this thing pretty full. That's like a lot of dice. You saw it's plenty of room for my other uh, dice and the lid. So there's like, I don't even know probably five sets of dice in there right now. It's like a ton. So there's a bunch of space. When you use these smaller inserts, there's a bunch of space for um, for a bunch of dice. I will show you how much dice was in that. That's a lot of dice. And then again, that's not even including the other set, full set that I have in the top insert, which is like nice for if you have like a special set or whatever, or a miniature, if you have a miniature, it'll fit in there. So that's the short insert. And then we have the tall inserts. So these are, are pretty cool for a couple of reasons. One is you can actually use it as a dice cup. So maybe, just use it as a quick roller for your dice, um, any die while you're playing your game, um, which is a really nice, nice way to use it. The other thing that I like about it is that there are some additional designs. So um, one of the, the other designs that you can use for, for throwing another set of dice in is the spinal cord. So this stretch goal has not yet been unlocked, but um, keep up, keep backing. Follow the Facebook page so that we can unlock it. Uh, share with your friends, because we really want to get this one unlocked. All right, um, this one here is a dice tower. So just like any normal dice tower, you can roll your dice. And look, it actually landed on a 20. Because that's what I'm saying, guys. The Draconic Dice Grip improves your odds of getting a D20, critical D20 roll. I mean, come on, I just proved it, am I right? Um, but okay, if we take this thing apart, so it's it's three pieces. Um, there's the, the insert that slides, but when you pull that thing out, you turn it, this top piece upside down, 
let me show you here and it actually slides back in this piece can then slide right into the top then you can put the whole thing upside down and right into the dice grid so um actually i put that backwards yeah there it is so then when you do that just like any other insert you can throw your lid on top really like the dice tower and again flip the top up inside out slide that in and it's ready to go and uh, a couple people have asked and there are one two three four it, it will hit four um four whatever you call it tiers by the time your your die rolls and hits the ground including this bottom one here which is curved so um so that's good for the randomization aspect this one i have here is the um the bottom insert and all of these i forgot to mention all of these have the slots for the um the rare earth magnets this one i have not put them in but you can see that it just locks into place down here so uh it's actually you put it in and you turn it and it just stays there so even if you don't have the rare earth magnets you really don't need them um but it does provide that nice nice clip in place um here's another one this one we have um almost unlocked uh if i remember correctly so this is the this bottom insert this version you can see has a couple of slots right here which are perfect for holding your phone so uh, i'm recording on my phone right now so i can't show it to you but it just your phone drops in there and if you go to the facebook page right now um, we, I just posted a photo earlier this week of, uh, when I was playing Magic the Gathering, um, I was actually using this, uh, to hold my phone and it works out really nice. And I was like, this thing is actually super useful because I don't know about you, but I don't really take phone holders with me. So having this is actually incredibly useful. Um, and it just made playing the game a lot more fun and easy. Um, as well as it's a dice holder so or a dice tray i should say so you can just keep your dice there so while you're playing the game uh you just have everything is just not spread all over the place it's just really nice and contained some of the lids let me show you this one so some of the lids have the additional uh storage so like the skull lid which is actually if we hit eleven hundred dollars on the kickstarter campaign then this thing will get unlocked um, and each of these actually has the uh, a separate container again with the slots for the rare earth magnets so it just uh, slides into place there um, yeah I think I think that's it for now uh, if you have any questions on anything just shoot me a message in the Kickstarter or um, or even in the comments section or on the Facebook page or whatever and and uh, yeah I'll get back to you all right, hopefully this has been helpful, guys. Thanks.